the underground city of Durinkuyu district in Nevsihir province, Turkey, extends to a depth of approximately 85 meters. It housed 20,000 people which dates back to the 7th century BC, encompassing 18 levels of tunnels, with storage rooms, water plumbing, stables, and living cattle underground amongst the people. There is no evidence of any plumbing, toilets, or sewage system ever existing down there, nor any evidence connecting these public amenities from one level to another, and in absence of that, they couldn't sustain a community for more than a few weeks at a time. Why would they take the time and effort to build an underground city for only three months of the year? The speculation is that the city is actually a lot bigger, but only a fraction of the cave is open to the public and in fact they span for hundreds of more miles. Underground tunnels stretching for many kilometers away connect this city with many other underground cities which we know nothing about. Who populated those cities and what kind of people were they? Were they people like us who were eating or were they breatharians who did not need any food or water but rather received their food through technology which harnessed the energy from the air? It may also explain the lack of plumbing and toilets in this underground city. It is undoubtedly one of the most visited tourist attractions in Cappadocia. It is an incredible and mysterious work that continues to attract the interest of archaeologists and scholars from all over the world. I have been there in the city, and I can confirm that it is as real as they have told us, and it is only one of many, many underground cities and cave networks that is in Turkey, most are kept out of public awareness. The city is vast and only a small section is open to the public. There is a larger section about three levels down with links high on the wall for strapping you up. There is a well and water systems and sewer systems and cook rooms and networks of rooms and tunnels that anyone would get lost in if venturing too far. It can get really cold down there and it was definitely built for smaller people. The artwork inside stems from early Christian influence Subscribe, like, and share on our social media at Tartaria Empire on Instagram, Native Technology on YouTube, and Michael Aloha on TikTok.